Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs and back to our Playwright API automation series. In this series, so far we have seen get call, post call and uh, put call. Today we are going to talk about delete call also. Delete means delete a user or we can say delete a resource, something like this. It means we have to hit one delete API so that we will get a response code as the user is uh, deleted and we will see what kind of response code we will get it over here, like 404 not found, something like this, along with a message. For example, let's see if you go to this application, this application is having an endpoint URL with users forward slash something 930 is written. This is for delete a user. It means you can pass any user ID that you really want to delete. If I do the same thing in the postman, so let's see, first I'll create a new fresh user with the post call. So let's create a new user. Although let's see this email ID is already taken. So let's take another email ID. And you can see that this is a user ID that got created. And my email ID is available 201 created. Now I'll do a delete call. So in order to do a delete call, I'll select the delete method from here and whatever the API URL that you really want to use. So let's use the same URL, copy this and then paste it over here forward slash. And then you have to supply the user ID that we will take it from here and then paste it here. Other than that, we just need to pass the right header and everything. So let me add the header also. So header information, we can take it uh, from here. This is a bearer token that we have to take it because without a token, we cannot delete anything. So let me just copy this and go back to the bulk edit, paste your header information again, back to key value edit. So this is a token that we are supplying and uh, this is the user that we really need to delete in body. We don't need to pass anything and that's send it. When you send it now, it's saying two zero four, no content. It means a user is completely uh, deleted and we are not getting any response in the response body. Now I can do one thing. I can just quickly do this thing with the get call also that with the get call, are we really getting the response or not? Let's see. So here it's saying 404 not found. You can see resource not found. It means the resource and that user is actually deleted. So with the delete call, with this API, we are getting 204 no content. And then again, we can check with the get call, this user is actually available or not. Is user is actually deleted or not. So I can hit another, for the validation point of view, I can hit another get API with the user ID and saying that 404 not found. So what is the use case? The use case is that first we will create a fresh user, delete the same user, and then we will try to fetch with the get call that it's, are we getting 404 not found or not? Perfect. So it's pretty simple. What I'll do under this, I'm going to create a delete folder separately. So let's create a new, uh, <clears throat> a package that I'm going to create. Let's see, this is my delete package under delete. I'm going to create a new Java class. For example, I'm going to create a delete user. Okay. Delete user API test, something like this. And uh, what we have to do here first, we have to create a fresh user, right? So see the use case, it will be like this. So first thing you have to create a user, the fresh user, and then we will fetch the user ID. Second thing then we will use the delete user and then whatever the user ID got uh, created from the fresh request from the first request, we will use the same user ID here. And then again, third, we will do what we will write, get user with the help of same user ID. And we should get 404 not found here. Here we should get a 204 here and here we should get a 201 that user is created. So this is the format of the test we are going to write. So I'll do one thing. I'll just first create a fresh user. So let's see, create a user with the uh, Lombok test that we have already created many times. So I'll do one thing. I'll just uh, copy the code from here. So I need this also before test, after test also, I need that. Get random email ID. So let's create a fresh user and then creating a user and uh, response also from creating the user, we are getting it. And uh, I'll do one thing I'm going to capture, let's see from here to here. So let's copy this and then we will modify the request accordingly. So I'll do one thing. I'll just paste it here, right? So this is the test is returned. 
instead of create user, I'm going to write this is my delete user. Right. And first we are creating a fresh user. So create user with the post call. And I'm passing, let's see, name, email ID, mail, and user is active. Get random email ID means it will create the random email ID from this particular method. And then this is a get call. And then I just want that I don't want to, okay, this is a 201 and then we are asserting it. That's fine. And the API response, if I really want to capture, I can print it on the console. This is also fine. I don't need any conversion of the POSO and all such things. So you can just um, remove all these things from here. Or I can do one thing. I just need the actual user dot get ID because get ID, we really need to do that, right? Exactly same thing we did in the put call also, if you remember. So I'll do one thing. I'll go to the put call that uh, response code that we are getting. And this is the actual user ID I'm going to capture. So just copy this and uh, come back here and then paste it over here. If you don't want to write other assertions, you can avoid that. Okay. So let me avoid these number of assertions. Just capture the user ID and it should be not null user ID. And then we are fetching it over here. Okay. So this is the first thing that we have written. Now, once this user ID is ready, then second thing is what the second thing is that uh, delete the user. So this is the second uh, step that delete the user using the delete API. So we have to use what we have to use this time request context dot delete method. We have to use it here. So here I'm going to write that request context dot C delete is there. And then <clears throat> we are going to write what, what exactly the URL. So the URL will be this. So let's copy this URL, but we just need to append with forward slash user ID. So let's uh, use this particular, um, just a second. Yeah. In double code, we have to use this. And uh, here we have to use what one forward slash plus whatever the user ID is there. We have to append it here. Other than that, we need to add headers and all such things also. So let's see a uh, request cre dot create dot uh, header. Also, we have to use it. So I'll just capture it from here to here. Okay. Copy this and uh, paste it over here. Okay. One more closing bracket and so remove this first of all in double quote. So user ID, we are appending and content type application JSON, although we are not passing anything. So you can remove this particular header and, uh, and then we are passing this only authorization token and that's it. Right. And this is the request dot set header that we have created here, just like we did over here. Right. And, uh, let me remove one bracket from here. Okay. Now. With the delete call, it's saying I'm going to give you the API response. So let me store inside the API response, just like uh, with the post call. Also, we were getting the API response. So I'll do one thing. I'll just store in a new variable, the variable name I'm going to write. Let's see, this is my uh, API delete response. So this is a delete response that we have captured. And then what exactly we want to uh, verify that in the delete response, I can just quickly write that as out that delete response dot give me the status that user is deleted or not. Just like in postman, when we were hitting the delete API, it should give you 204 no content. So status. And then there is one more thing that we can write that uh, from this, give me the status text also that not found. If you really want to assert that also, we can write it. So I'm going to write, let's see, assert dot assert equals that whatever the status dot uh, uh, status that is uh, is actual value and you are expecting what we are expecting 204 so here i'm writing that it should be equal to 204 here okay so the status will give you one integer so we have to write an integer not in a string so 204 that is what we are expecting here okay it means the user is completely deleted. If you really want to check this also that, uh, no content that also we can check it here. And then with the API delete response, I really want to do one more thing. I really want to print response. Sorry. Whatever the API delete response is there. I really want to fetch the body also the response body also. So, uh, let's see the text method. We can use it. It should give you a complete blank response. 
If you see in the postman also, we are not getting any body in the response. There is no user information. So with that also, I'm just going to print with the, with a message. Let's see, delete a user response body, which is equal to, and then plus, and then this. The third step is that we have to fetch the same user. So get user with the same user ID. And then let's see, are we getting the 404 not found or not, right? Like this, because that is what exactly we did, right? This is a get call, use the same user ID, hit it, and then it's saying resource not found in the message 404 not found. So we just need to hit the get call. So get call is already available with me. Why to write it again? We can just simply use this uh, get API call. And in the get API call, what I can do, I can just copy from here and then uh, status we are getting a status code. And we just need to verify that the status code is something like this or not. So we will change the code accordingly. The only thing is we need to hit the user forward slash plus with the same user ID. We have to use it over here. We are not passing any mail and then any query parameter. So you can just uh, remove it here and uh, request dot create then dot set header also let me just supply the header as well so dot set header and once the header is uh, set then after that we are fetching the status code and the status code we are printing it it should be equal to what it should be equal to 404 in my assertion so here i'm writing that the status code should be 404 and uh, okay whatever not found also we should capture it here so I'll do one thing that uh, from the API response dot, let's see if it is uh, dot status text also we can capture. It should be equal to this one, not found. So N capital, not found, F capital also. Yeah. Okay. And uh, yeah, that's it. And after that, what we can do, whatever the API response that we are capturing, we can do one more thing that assert dot assert equals this one dot the body, because in the body, we are getting this one, right? Message resource not found. So let's check. Are we really getting this message or not? So I can do one thing, this uh, API response dot text dot, uh, I can write dot contains here that if it is really containing the resource not found. But instead of assert dot equals, I'm going to write a true here because contains method will give you a Boolean, right? So I really want to check that the text contains resource not found or not. And then my test is completely done. Okay. Let's see all three steps are done and let's see delete API is working or not. So right click and run as delete user test. Okay, so yeah, 201 got created. This is a user ID. Absolutely great. Delete user absolutely working fine. If you see the sequence, first we have created a fresh user. You can see here that uh, user ID is this. We have fetched the user ID. <coughs> then after that, we are hitting the API. So see the response body, we are not getting it and deleting the same user ID and we are getting 404 response code. And then after that, uh, we were just verifying with the get call that are we getting the right thing or not? Or what we can do, let's run it again with this particular text. Also, we can print it in between. So I'll do one thing that uh, s out. Sorry, s out <clears throat> text. Also, we will print. Or all the print work. Let me just cut it from here. The moment. Let's write it here. Hmm? Let's run it again. Okay, <clears throat> so once again, it's working fine. And now you can see the proper response we are getting that yes, resource not found. And we are getting the response code 404. And that is what exactly we are asserting here. These two assertions are important, not found along with the 404. Perfect. So this is a typical delete call. That is what we have to do, right? So always remember whenever we are designing the delete APIs test cases, First, create a fresh user, delete the same user, and from this fresh user, always fetch the user ID and use the same user ID in the second call and the same user ID in the third call also. 
don't use the existing user ID because what if tomorrow you're running the test cases on the, let's see on the stage environment or dev environment where that existing user ID is not available, or maybe somebody has already deleted that user. So tomorrow, if you're running it, this one, this will not work. Better you create a fresh user, get the user ID, get the user ID, and then use it the same user ID in your upcoming calls. That is what we have to do. This is always a right way of writing the test. So your tests always be independent to each other. Okay. So I'll do one thing. I'm just going to uh, check in this code also to my Git repository. So you can just clone that repository later on. So I'll quickly check the status and I'll check the Git add space dot git commit minus M and I'm writing that added delete API. Okay. And then git push origin to the main branch and the code has been pushed, which is available over here. I'll write the same uh, URL also in the description in the first comment of this video, you guys can clone it from here. I hope you're liking Playwright API. In the next upcoming uh, chapters, we will see how to write OAuth 1.0, 2.0 calls with the Playwright. And we will see that how to generate their own token and we will try to uh, use some other APIs also with the Playwright. So that's all for this video. I hope uh, you are getting it. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and God bless you all.